But J Rod got like a twelve year, four hundred and fifty million dollar contract. He's probably gonna win AL Rookie of the Year. Pena will probably come in second. It'll be interesting to see what the Astros how the Astros extend Pena now. And then you look what the Braves did with some of their guys. Austin Riley got two twenty, two ten. Michael Harris only got seventy five. Markets all over the place for big extensions. Uh, Jeremy Pena, would you give him J-Rod money? Would you give him Austin Riley money? Would you give him Michael Harris money? Well, they're going to want to pay him Michael Harris money. <laughs> Every team would want to pay him Michael Harris money. He had a full full rookie season. He had uh, you know almost 600 plate appearances. I think, think that they'll probably want to see him throughout the entirety of this season and then potentially decide, do we go ahead and try and lock this guy up? If he takes the next step over 162 uh, in 2023, I think it's very likely that they they try and lock him up. Or if he has a, if he has a really good first half, if he's an all star, yeah, they might try and do it then. I think it's safe to say that he's probably not in the J Rod category um, currently. I he's probably not going to have the power numbers that, that a guy like Riley's going to have. So I <clears throat> I don't necessarily know where his value value falls yet. I need to see a little bit more out of him. If you go based on just what he did in the postseason, yeah, give him a half a billion. 